I think we may have taken this Doom experiment just a little bit too far. Rest in peace, my PlayStation 2. When it comes to playing classic Doom, there are a wide selection of options available for players. From 3DO to Super Nintendo, PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 1, gamers don't need to work hard to find a way to experience this classic game. Yet despite this, there are a notable number of mainstream consoles where classic Doom was not brought to the party. Some of these make sense. I mean, did anyone really want to play Ultimate Doom on the original Game Boy? Actually, that sounds fun. Other consoles are more baffling though by their omission, perhaps none more so than Sony's PlayStation 2. Despite being the best selling games console ever, Sony's Mega House console never officially housed Classic Doom. You could experience it if you owned PS1 Doom, but that isn't really what people wanted, I suspect. Why was this a thing? The simple answer is that after the initial release of Doom, the game kind of faded into the background on home consoles. Doom arriving on PlayStation 2 wouldn't have been that noteworthy, and it wasn't until it was bundled with the original Xbox version of Doom 3 that you could even play classic Doom in this console generation. For this reason, there was never really a good time for it to come out on PlayStation 2, and thus the window of opportunity just passed it by. But we're about to correct that today. It's time to experience classic Doom on PlayStation 2, warts and all. To help this happen, I'm going to be using PS2 Doom, a port of Doom 2 started by Lucas Brun and maintained by Cosmito over at ps2homebrewing.com. I put the link to the files needed for this in the video description, so if you want to give it a try, absolutely feel free. So let's see how these Doom games would have run on PlayStation 2. So this is E1M1, but on a PlayStation 2. Who would have thought it? Yes, this is actually running natively on a PlayStation 2 console and you will need a soft modded PlayStation 2 if you want to do this yourself, but it is pretty interesting to set up and get running, I'm not going to lie. The biggest thing you've probably noticed is the complete lack of music and that is because I assume that the people that made this fan mod, and it is very much a fan mod, did not have the time to either implement it or did not have the chance to get it working. It's not a big loss because you can put your own music over it, but it's just something worth noting. I also kind of fumble around at this door here because the controls do take a bit of getting used to if you do end up digging into this version. Performance wise, this is pretty about what you'd expect to be honest. It's pretty hard to mess up classic Doom, in particular on PlayStation 2 hardware. Considering some of the games that run on PlayStation 2 hardware, classic Doom isn't really that much of a demanding game at this point. But it is still impressive to see this running natively on Sony's hardware. grab the blue armor there you will notice that the screen is slightly cropped in so when I was recording this I did run into this issue Ooh, hit the wrong button there the controls for this are not the best I will bring that up in a minute but as I was talking about the cropped image unfortunately for some reason the PlayStation and my capture card would not allow me to sort of get the full screen and when I tried using different methods of getting this onto the screen either it wouldn't display or the PlayStation wouldn't like it so yeah unfortunately the cropped image is seems to be a sort of result of the way that this is operating but ultimately you know it's not that bad Performance wise, I'm really impressed. This is not showing any signs of strain, which is really good. What I found really interesting as well is that when I loaded into Ultimate Doom, I used the Ultimate Doom WAD, so that came with all of the four episodes. I was not able to select my way into Thy Flesh Consumed. The game just simply refused to acknowledge it, its existence and it's a bit of a shame because Life Flesh Consumed has some interesting levels and it would have been fun to see those kind of try to stress test the PlayStation 2 here. As I mentioned earlier on though, playing on this version with the way that it's been configured is really awkward. So as you can see here, I'm fighting this imp. You'll notice that I'm kind of stopping to turn a lot and it's because the controls are kind of like a marriage between 
the PS1 version of Doom and sort of like a halfway attempt to recreate the Xbox 360 controls, but not really, because the analog sticks really don't do anything apart from server strafing buttons. And to be honest, it's not the most intuitive way to strafe. So you end up kind of just trying to avoid enemy fire by sort of running around rather than sort of side to side. It's not very natural in Doom, and it, I would argue it's one of the bigger follies of this fan port. But I think we should head into Doom 2 now. Obviously with Doom 2, there's a lot more demand on hardware. That's one of the reasons why you didn't really see Doom 2 turn up on a lot of the 90s consoles. It's just a more demanding game in general. Bigger levels, more enemies, lots more enemies in the levels. There's a lot more going on and Doom 2 pushed PCs a bit harder than its predecessor. But as you can see here, it, the PlayStation 2 appears to be more than capable of handling Doom 2. It doesn't really appear like there's any obvious penalties being inflicted from the hardware side of things. Again though, you'll see as I'm sort of battling the imps in here, I'm kind of using the chainsaw because that's the easiest way to deal with the imps when you can't really strafe accurately. Honestly, I kind of wish they'd gone for the PS1 controls here. I know that the PS1 controls are pretty divisive when it comes to Doom, but in my opinion, those would have probably been the best way to handle strafing and such, because you do kind of get used to the PS1 Doom controls. I don't think over an extended period I could get used to using the D-pad to strafe, but using the arrows to sort of turn. It's, it's not particularly natural. Rather than heading there, I'm actually going to head outside. Take a look at the sky as I turn around outside, by the way. You can kind of see it warping around the player's perspective. That's pretty interesting. I don't think I've seen that in any of the ports. As you can kind of see there, when I was turning around, the sky was kind of deforming slightly as Doom Guy was turning. And you can also see that Doom Guy himself is deforming as he walks down that corridor because turning <laughs> and strafing and running are three things that Doom Guy will not do on this controller scheme. You can change the controller scheme. There is a config file to do it. And I didn't really get time to sort of stop and play around with that. But it is something that if you do dive into this, you can get your hands dirty with and play around with to find sort of something that works for you. But again, it's a, another solid showing for Doom 2 here. I feel like if they'd released this and the Ultimate Doom in the state that we're kind of seeing here, obviously with better controls, I definitely don't think people would have complained too much. I do want to just grab the Super Shotgun and see how that sounds as we start shooting our way through the level here. It is fascinating to me though, that for Doom's reputation of appearing on so many consoles, it never actually made it to PlayStation 2. And yeah, I know, Doom 3 did come out on Xbox, it was never gonna come out on PlayStation, but, I'm genuinely surprised that, we, because around the time on PC they had the classic collection, I don't know if anyone remembers that version of the classic Doom games, where you could get all the original free Doom games bundled in one, and I always kind of figured they would release that onto the consoles at some point. If you listen to the Super Shotgun over the next little bit here, you'll hear that it does have that Xbox sort of slowed down sound. Mercifully, you can run in this version. So if you press the X button, yes, the X button, you get to run. From here though, we can take a quick glance at the Final Doom outings. 
seeing Final Doom run on PS2 is kind of interesting because if you don't remember, Final Doom did make an appearance on PlayStation 1 and it wasn't the best version of Classic Doom. A lot of technical issues and sh slowdown and frame rate issues. It's a version of Final Doom that really does kind of let down the team, in particular as well with level selection. I think there's only, is it six or seven TNT levels that make the cut into Final Doom and like only a handful of Plutonia levels as well. So it would have been really cool to sort of be able to play these on console and actually get the proper full Final Doom experience. Once again, you can see we're not really being handicapped by frame rate issues here. I will say that some of the distant textures look very blurry and smudged. We'll quickly dive into Plutonia here as well, just so I can sort of show that yes, Plutonia actually does run pretty nicely. And considering that in the PlayStation 1 port, the Plutonia levels were arguably the worst across the board just because of their size. Having all the Plutonia levels here is pretty neat. If I had the time, I would actually play through a bit of Plutonia and get to some of those more difficult levels because I, I would be interested to see how some of the bigger levels corp. But I do feel encouraged by the fact that this is a very smooth experience. The brown textures really do kind of make things look like a bit of a smudge in this version though. <laughs> Although that that's more of an artistic critique than a critique of this particular port of Doom. And of course it wouldn't be um, Plutonia without the chain gun assaults and of course the Borny Boy party that's going to happen in here. So having checked out these versions of Classic Doom on PlayStation 2, I was curious to see if we could get custom wads working on PlayStation 2 because I haven't seen much discussion about that. And yes, to my surprise, you actually can get custom wads working on this. In an interesting little twist here, this is actually a wad that I played back when I first started playing Doom years ago. This is Water Plant 1, but yes, it is indeed a custom wad, and it is running on the same system that you saw the other Dooms running on just now. And what that basically says is that yes, custom wads are possible here. H how advanced can the custom wads be? I would not be able to hazard a guess on that, but the fact that I'm playing a custom Doom wad on PlayStation 2 with minimal fuss, I, really the only thing I had to do was edit the wad that I wanted into the Doom 2 wad, and basically the PS2 basically just plays it as it would with the normal retail wads. I'm pretty sure you could do this with a lot of wads. I, I have no idea if you could get away with doing this with other wads that, are, that have custom textures and such. Because obviously this one is a very basic wad from way back in the day. But it's just cool as a proof of concept that yes, you can actually play custom wads on PlayStation 2. I am going to be quiet for a second here because I want you to listen to some of the sounds in this room and just see if you can spot the issues. So I just wanted you guys to hear there, there were some little sound issues going on there. The sounds were kind of being cut off very early. It's interesting because I didn't notice that in the other wads that I played, but it was quite prevalent in this one. But there is one mod I definitely want to try. I mean, while we were putting in custom wads to PlayStation 2, I genuinely had to do this. This is nuts, and it is indeed running on PlayStation 2. You can see that it's kind of turned PlayStation 2 Doom into a slideshow. And you can also kind of see, no matter which way I look, it does appear that 
there's not much I can do to get out of that. You can see the enemies just kind of flickering in and out of existence down below. The game really doesn't know what to do with this many enemies. And... Yeah. So, this is nuts running on PlayStation 2. And as you can see, it does not like what we're doing to it here. <laughs> it really does not like what we've done to it here. But as a proof of concept, it's really fun to just see Nuts, one of the craziest wads, playing on a PlayStation 2. I mean, who would have thought it? Let me know what you thought of this. Did you enjoy seeing PlayStation 2 Doom here? Would you have bought this back in the day if it had come out on PlayStation 2? And would you play Nuts on PlayStation 2? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. And thank you so, so much for watching.